Kai. Hi. How's it going? Aren't you happy to be awake on a Monday morning? Happy, happy Monday, Monday. Happy, happy Monday, Monday. Happy, happy Monday, Monday. Happy, happy Monday, Monday. No? I have a headache. Why? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> What are you going to do about it? Get up, bring some coffee, take some Tylenol, go to work. Sounds like a good morning. It does sound like a good morning. You're right. I think you have a donut hangover. You have a donut hangover. I might have a bit of a donut hangover. Why would I have a donut hangover, honey? Because I made homemade donuts. Yeah. See, the thing is, is when somebody is working on their <coughs> recipe and technique and all of that for homemade donuts, they need a taster. Yes. Yes. Yes, I am that taster. So, yeah, I, I made homemade donuts last night. And I'm still trying to perfect it. We need an oil thermometer so you know exactly yeah. the temperature your oil's at. I think that will solve everything. Yeah, that will solve a lot of my problems. Yes. And then you can shove them full of caramel sauce. Yes. Yes. And then I can shove them full of caramel sauce. Yes! Yeah. We also had uh, some choke cherry apple jam. Oh, yeah. That in there. That was good. Oh. Now, now, if you're going to make jam-filled donuts, I have to learn how to make jam. Yes. Yeah. So we need a bunch of different flavors. Yeah, I just... I like... Baking. Yeah, no, well, I mean, you're frying bread. I don't know if it's... Is, do, do churros and donuts count as baking? They are a pastry. Mm-hmm. But you're not really baking. Where do you get donuts? You fry the bread. But where do you get them? The Tim Hortons. Bakery. That's a good point. But they're not really baked, though. I can bake them. Nah, I don't think it'd be the same. No, it wouldn't be. <laughs> but you can bake donuts. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just better to... Yeah, it's better this way. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So, what else is going on? Hmm? What else is going on? What else do we do this weekend? Nothing. Yeah, we've mostly just been watching cooking shows and travel vlogs. Mm-hmm. This is why I can't be Johnny White Trash anymore. No, that is definitely why you can't be just yeah. my trash anymore. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Anyway, you came in really late. I did. So you probably have to go. Getting pretty close. Yeah. However, you get mad at me when I don't leave a story up on my screen. So I have left a story up. on. Do you want to read that headline? She's stone cold... Steve austin my ass. What does that mean? Woman crushes two beers, beer cans, then beats the crap out of her boyfriend for saying she drinks too much. <laughs> this is one of those stories that legitimately is only funny because it didn't happen to you. Yes. Right? Like, like if you did this to me, I'd be like, okay, this isn't funny. But if I told all my friends about it, they would think it was funny. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ge oh, wait, 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 wait. Guess where this happened? The state? Florida woman! Florida woman. 23-year-old Chastity. Chastity, honey. Yeah. Got into a physical altercation with Cody Lee, 26, Saturday afternoon at a residence in Fort Pierce, Florida. Havens, the boy, Cody, not Cody, Cody, said that Bondar, Bodnar, Bond. Chastity, pictured above, got upset when he told her that she drinks too much. Cody said <laughs> that an enraged, Ch enraged Chastity first threw her phone at him. In the throat, That's a woman it. after your own heart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, throat punches all around. Yeah. Oh, and then she, he then walked out of the house and into the attached garage. 
with chastity, chastity fo- following. <laughs> Inside the garage, Chastity took two beer cans and proceeded to stone cold Steve Austin my ass. She went crazy on him. She went crazy. Okay. Yeah, basically, yeah, she legit just like banged. Okay, well, yeah, call me an alcoholic one more time, you stupid judgmental motherfucker. You're an alcoholic. Instead of a pin, three slaps of the mat, and a championship belt, Chastity got a trip to jail with a misdemeanor battery and domestic. So basically, yeah, she like... Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I spoke with the victim who reported that he was engaged in a verbal altercation with Chastity. Chastity. When she became enraged over what he what he stated to her, the victim reported she threw her phone at him, striking him in the throat. The victim reported he walked away into the garage. When she followed, he went. When she followed him inside and took two beer cans and stone cold Steve Austin, my ass, ass. The victim stated she went crazy on him, forcing him to pin her down to the ground until law enforcement arrived to prevent any further ar- action. I observed two beer cans in the garage that appeared to be crushed in the general vicinity of where the incident occurred. So, so what have we learned today, honey? What is the proper response to you have a drinking problem? What? <laughs> and I loved it too because he's like, yeah, I had to pin her down. Like, like in no point, right? Like the reason this story is funny, I can admit, is because it was a lady. If this story goes the other way around, it's not funny at all. No. No. But but the fact that it's just like, you know, it's just like, ah, I'm not. And then it's just like, yeah, okay, you can't hit me. <laughs> I have to go to work. Okay. Don't make, don't make- don't make me stone cold Steve Austin in your ass. Yeah, okay. Something like that. Yeah. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.